Chris Law, you want me to ask him about Jay Cutler? That's an attack. Oh. We're talking about the Cubs. We're having good times here. Talking about uh, fresh produce, and you want me to throw Jay Cutler into the conversation? He's, he's not our quarterback anymore. It's Brian Hoyer. So I don't even, you know, what are you talking about backup quarterbacks at this point for? Yeah, but I, I, aren't you aren't you pro Cutler camp? Like whenever I am. he comes back? Yes. I'm okay. So I'm pro Cutler in the fact that people, the the quarterback position in the NFL is garbage. And everyone talks about how the NFL, the quality of play is down. It's because of the quarterback position. I think Jay Cutler is still a top 15 guy. And these guys that, you know, we, we, Chicago does this thing where we get Josh McCown in or we get Brian Hoyer and we say, Oh, this guy, he's great. Jay Cutler's better than both of them. Now, his contract, his guaranteed money's up after this year, so I'm assuming the Bears are going to walk on, walk away from it and try to draft someone. But the fact that people think, just looking at the, like the landscape of the NFL, name me a name of someone who is better that, than Cutler that you can bring in. You can't. That's more an indictment on the quarterback position. But that's why I've always been the pro cut. Well, the indictment is that Brian Hoyer has played a little bit better than Cuddy did uh, when he was against the Colts. Come on. I mean, Cutler wins that game. That's the point is like the Colts defense is is worse than the Bears. That, that is an awful, awful defense. They had plays where they just weren't even lining up and, and, and the Bears were scoring touchdowns. And then you see it at the end. Hoyer had a very nice game. He didn't make a lot of mistakes. But at the end of the game, he's got wide open Alshon Jeffrey in the end zone. And he just doesn't, you know, he doesn't read it. So. I, I, the, the Colts game, I want to see them, and they're playing the Jags this week, so I want to see them play a couple teams before we start saying Brian Hoyer, a 30-year-old backup, career backup, is somehow the future. Well, yeah, shame the devil if management gets duped into trying to retain Hoyer for any amount of time. I suspect that they're going to go after one Jimmy Garoppolo, the handsome devil who is backing oh, yeah. up uh, 12 yeah, now. But, but you know what? Now I don't feel bad that this is what's going to happen to you after your senseless attack uh, of me a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> I, You know what's going to happen to you? Jay Cutler, New York Jets. He's going to he's gonna be living in your area code in, uh, in about six months or eight months from now. It does feel like it's going that way, and, and I'm okay walking. It, it, I'm pro Cutler in, in the past. I understand that the Bears need to – the Bears have so many problems that they need to start fresh on basically everything. So I would love for them to get Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't know if that's going to happen because I'm sure the Patriots would take like a thousand first-round picks and, they, and the Bears would get fleeced over. Uh, but I'd also be fine with them trying to draft someone. The Bears haven't – the biggest problem the Bears have done is you see this with all these guys, these fourth-round, fifth-round guys that are contributing to NFL teams. The Bears haven't been drafting quarterbacks. Every draft you should take a quarterback, and you should take a guy, if it's, even if it's a late round, who can possibly be that guy. The Bears are instead getting these backups who are like 30, 30 years old, 34 years old, and saying they're playing nice. Well, that's fine, but they're not the future. You need a guy you can build around. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.